This video is brought to you by Power Performance Products, where you can get $10 off your purchase of Body Storm and Body Effects. Spencer Lazar, MMA Interviews. I'm here at Alberto Crane's Jiu Jitsu, Gracie Baja Jiu Jitsu here in Burbank. I'm alongside Jared Papazian, about to start practice. We had a little uh, fiasco happen sort of this week. Ulysses Gomez just came out on MMA Junkie with a story. Talk us through what's going on there. Um, you know, I called him out. Um, and he's taking it the wrong way, you know, I call everybody out. I've been doing that since the beginning of my career, not since I've been in the UFC. I've been doing it since 2008. Um, I called him out way before I was in the UFC, so there was a little history there. Um, since UFC 151 got canceled, a lot of guys got pushed back. In order for us guys to get fights, um, we got to call people out. And I'm calling people out so I can, you know, fight in December, and I want to fight in December. From what I was told, I'm going to be fighting in March. I don't want to fight in March. I want to fight in December. So. I'm not gonna call a guy that's out, that's uh, on a winning uh, streak right now. Doesn't make sense. So I'm gonna call someone that's on a losing streak. I'm on a losing streak. So that's what makes sense right now. Yeah, I mean, why why do you want to fight with Lu Ulysses? Um, you know, we have history. We were gonna fight. You know, uh, way before we were gonna be in, before I was in the UFC. I called him out before, but you know, I got called up to for the UFC, and I'm going down to 125, and he's at 25, and I think that's a great matchup. You know. Um, I like to stand and bang. He's a jiu-jitsu guy, so we're pretty much even. So, you know. Yeah. Well, what did you think about the story that was that was written and what he said on MMA Junkie Radio yesterday? You know, calling me a pest and whatnot. You know, I just said, you know, let's fight. You know, um, this is the fight game. This isn't ballerina. You know, you don't got to be a crybaby cry about it. it. Seems like he's being a crybaby about it. You know, I'm a, I have nothing personal against the guy. I mean, if he wants to make it personal, we can get it personal. Um, you know, I just want to fight, you know. That's, you know, there's no noise in the 125, you know. It's everybody's respectful to everybody, you know. You got to make noise, you know. Noise, you know, interacts excitement that brings fans to to fights. You know, if everybody's respectful and, you know, no drama, no one's going to want to watch The Ultimate Fighter or, you know, anything. The people want drama. You know, I'm I'm an exciting, I'm a showman and I'm here to, you know, give fans what uh they want to see, you know, I'm always a show. Name one fight that I have not been exciting. You know, I'm always exciting regardless if I'm winning or losing. I always put on a show, you know. He said he accepted the fight, but then, you know, didn't really push for it. Is that kind of the issue of why you kept pushing the, the envelope? Yeah, you know, uh, if someone called me out, I, I would love someone to call me out. You know, I, I would use that just like, I would build that fight so hard I love excitement, you know, I can't go into a boring fight, you know. I love, you know, just exciting fights, you know. Um, yeah, it seemed like, you know, he's not pushing hard enough. You know, if someone called me out, I would really, you know, call Sean Shelby or have my manager, you know, really push or get the fans to interact with it and, you know, hey, can you guys get behind me and, you know, let's get this fight. You know, what do you guys think? You know, I would, I would try to, you know, build it, you know. Okay, away from that, what have you been working on that you want to utilize in your next fight? Um, you're going to see a lot of new things. I'm not going to, uh, I don't kiss and tell. You're going to see. Do you expect this fight to happen in the near future? Um, yes. You know, it's up to Sean Shelby if he wants to put it together. But I'm, I'm, I'm open to fight anybody. If Sean Shelby calls me, I'm going to fight Ian McCall. I'm going to fight Ian McCall. If they told me to fight Chris Curry, also I'm going to fight Chris Curry. Also. Or whoever they are, they're going to say, I never turned down a fight. So, whoever. What's all the deal with the managers? There was something said that, um, about the managers. Um, from what I hear, you know, Jason House been, you know, talking. My manager is Darren Harvey. He also manages Ronda Rousey, Manning Gabriel. Um, you know, Darren's a very classy guy. He doesn't talk any crap about anybody, or you know, he he he's he's a class act. And uh, from what I hear, um, Jason House said some things, and Darren confronted him about it, and they squashed it, and everything is good. And then um, Darren, you know, pretty much said, let let us little guys take care of it. So that's pretty much we're taking care of the business for them since, you know, they're old enough. They can't do anything about it. So, you know, I'm taking care of it for, for Darren and whatnot. So I got your back, D. I don't know. Jason's been training hard, man. I see his posts every day. The guy's training every day. Oh, yeah? Darren, get your ass in the gym. Let's, let's do the damn thing. <laughs> yeah, there's the age difference there. Might might not work out. Well, anything else you want to say, Jerry? Uh, no, I just wanted to clear that up. You know, I'm, I'm not a bad guy. I like exciting fights. Um... I mean, Ulysses, you're not going to run forever. I'm, I'm coming for you. There you have it. Jerry Papazian, Ulysses Gomez. You heard it here. Spencer Lazar, MMA Interviews. Look for more interviews coming soon. Hey there. 
We're the King of the Cage Green Girls. Thanks for watching MMA Interviews TV.